Back in 1980, uh, I was up at my summer home. I picked up a Toronto newspaper, and uh, this young guy just dipped his leg into the Atlantic Ocean, and he was going to start his run across Canada, Terry Fox. Well, I, I think if, it, if it's only up to, up to me in my, in my mind, I know I know I got a lot of positive attitude, and I think I can do it. Well, I had the opportunity of knowing Terry Fox as a university student at Simon Fraser, uh, just after he had had his leg amputated. You know, to me, Terry Fox was a great friend. It was a guy I met just after he lost his leg to cancer and I got him to come out and play wheelchair basketball. You know, he would tell everybody that uh, he was going to run across Canada and, you know, first we didn't believe him. Uh, and then as you got to see him train more, you understood the dedication that he had. If, if I don't make it, it's going to be something that uh, nobody would make it. This guy, he ran 26 miles every day on one leg. Um, ran in the rain, ran in the cold, ran up hills, down hills. Um, obviously uh, in, a, in a lot of pain at times, but uh, he was a very determined guy. He did it for everyone else. He never did it for himself. And through that, it's taught me to help others. I think that it would ruin what I'm doing if I was doing it in order to make any money for myself. And I, the only thing I want to sponsor is, is cancer, and cancer can be beaten, not, not any other product. And, and uh, I hope nobody tries to use me, because I won't, I won't let them. You know, here's a guy who is determined, who was courageous, who was dedicated to his run and wanted to help other people. And I think, you know, if those aren't qualities that you have in your own life, then I think you're missing the boat. We need these other people to continue the marathon of hope, even if I don't make it. It's gotta go without me. I'll do my best, but it's gotta keep going without me if I can't make it. You can sit on the sidelines, and if you sit on the sidelines, nothing happens. And Terry Fox could have, uh, at age 21, 22, when he had this disease, you know, sat at home and and again felt sorry for himself but he wanted to make a difference. I think Terry's legacy has really shown people that anything is possible, that we just all need to have the courage to try, that we all have that power, we all have that ability. I've said to people before that I'm going to do my very best to make it, I'm not going to give up and that's true. This individual was a guy who uh, saw what went on in the cancer wards and said that this pain must stop and I'm going to do whatever I can. Uh, and I think that that selfless attitude was something that, uh, you know, is what made him so loved by so many Canadians. What an incredible beginning of this long journey. 25 years, 30 years later, his dream continues to unfold all around the world. One day, because of Terry, cancer will be beaten.